You've returned. Would that the Queen's witches have your punctuality, O oh, Warden Mine. The Tekyans have started work on the Lodestone, but they can't finish it without help. I would love to find amusement in their inadequacy. Make a meal of it. However, the task of helping those who can't help themselves has fallen on your shoulders again. Something of the Ahamkara in you, perhaps? The Lodestone must be attuned to the confluence, like teaching a compass where north lies. I've simplified, of course. For your sake. The calibration will take some time. Should I pray for you to make it out alive? you have grown accustomed to the blights and scorn, but it was peaceful once. <laughs> what do guardians care for peace? They want to slay the dragon. The Techians are in final preparations for the Lodestone. Your work in its calibration was invaluable. It will serve as a beacon for the Queen to make contact with her personal harbinger. She'll commune with it. Ask it to guide the remainder of the clutch back to us. It's the last of its kind. And it's good to see a harbinger, normally a weapon of war, used for diplomacy. Even with Riven. In the past, the pinnacle of the Spine of Caris provided the open sky the Queen needed for this communion. It will suffice again. But the Taken can test that region, as they have since Riven's curse rang out. They will hinder your every step. So cut through them, secure the Spine, and the Queen will do the rest. Communion with my Harbinger requires we access the highest point of the Spine of Karis. But Riven's curse remains. The curse brings new Taken to the region every cycle. So hunt them and our work can begin. Once the Spine is secure, Sadia and the Techians can light a beacon for the Harbinger.
find two ogres within, Guardian. As all Guardians have since the curse began. All across this region, the Corsairs remain as well. Reliving this nightmare is a matter of course, as we've been backward to aid the Ahamkara that unleashed this. One crisis at a time, my wrath. Yes, my queen. Observatory is secure. Sadia and the Techians are now free to signal my Harbinger. We'll use it to pull the clutch within our reach. The Harbingers once aided the Awoken against the likes of the Taken King. But your actions today shall allow a Harbinger to aid in diplomacy. For perhaps the first time. Even if it is with an enemy of the state. Just the same. All things are handled here, Guardian, thanks to you. I need your strength elsewhere. The next aid should be coming into range. Mara's seeing to the Harbinger. We'll cover you on this one. Guardian, I'm seeing a lot of scorn activity ahead. I doubt they understand what it is we're after, but they'll get in our way all the same. Such callousness toward your creations. I suppose they have a new master now. Do you remember how you brought me to the Dreaming City for the first time? I remember. You sought a gift for your sister. Something that could delight and surprise her. Let's stay focused. Thank you. 
up enough to eat their corruption, and you should be able to slip past their defenses. You have faded, as experience in such matters. Best to follow this. orders from the witness what are they up to poisoning every corner of the dreaming city they can reach perhaps they resemble their creator all aimless i yearn for you to stop talking down as well. Those shields aren't impermeable. Turn their own poison against them. I understand the Queen's reluctance, but you've done the witnesses' bidding before. Why not again? Kill my friends to bring on the final shape? No thanks. A wish to end suffering. You made such a wish once, and brought about so much death. You know that wasn't what I wanted. You should have been more careful with your words. Enough! It's done! The Queen is waiting. I heard you over the comm channels. I am sorry that we are forced to entreat with Riven. She and I have our own histories to navigate, but what she did to you, how she wormed her way into your mind, that was inexcusable. It pains me to put you through this. Even after all that's happened, you still think I need to be protected? No, that is not. It's all right, Mara. I understand. We've always shared a connection. Even when you were lost in the Ascendant Plane, I could still feel your presence. 
your heart beat. I knew you weren't truly gone. Riven was only able to manipulate me because of how strong our connection was. Is. I've made choices I'm not proud of. But I'll never apologize for the reason I made them. It's the same reason you reach out even now when, when you see me struggling. You're my sister. Nothing can break that bond. Not death, not Riven. Not even the light. Like Aegir and Rhaegar, finding each other in the storm. <laughs> yeah, well... All that we've been through... That's no fable. We stood together as the world collapsed around us. And we'll stand together again. Guardian, I'm afraid progress is slow. The veil is a clever tangle in and of itself. It reforms as the consciousnesses connected to it ebb and flow. They rush in, awash with dreams and wonder, and then drain away. I believe that once I understood the veil, mechanically, once I understood Strand, that I would see its patterns with new clarity. That has not happened. This is not like charting a course through the currents of a sea or the depths of space. It is an architecture defined by how we intend to imagine it. Not dissimilar to the Ascended Plane. But if more like its opposite. The Ascended Plane mirrors aspects of our world, aspects of will and import, to those who traverse it. Those aspects are decided upon through our actions. The veil, conversely, weaves not with our will, not our decisions, but with intent, unfiltered by logic. What we feel, not what we decide. Mapping such a thing would be like rebuilding a creature from the calcified remains we found aboard the pyramid ships. They are an image of a dissection, a deadened echo of existence. But to look at them as they are, to see their disparate parts, even understanding their anatomy does not give us the knowledge to make them as they were. I will continue to seek the path the witness forged into the Traveler, but I am no longer confident that it could ever be walked again. Riven may be our only option. So many wish to be closer with their family. The absent and the estranged cause rifts in a person's psyche. I hear them even now. Let me speak to my father again, one last time. Let my daughter see me for who I am. One of the stranger human impulses, don't you find? Above all, Ahamkara want to feed, to drink deep of the gulf between desire and reality. Other Ahamkara are competitors for limited resources, not allies. The only exception is a mate. Sometimes we reach beyond ourselves. Perhaps if we stood by one another more, we'd have survived the great hunt. If we were a little more... human. But that bargain... 
is not within our natures to make. Speak her name as you wish, O oh, Majesty mine. 